Hey there, sweet friends. This is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery. Today I wanted to show you guys just a little snippet of what I've been doing here the past few weeks. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. I've had a lot of stuff going on um, personally and health-wise, and I am totally fine, um, but I've just had to take a break from from everything, even, uh, even my day job. I've had to uh, take some time off of work, and I miss my little babies at school, so I'm hoping to be able to go back to work tomorrow, and I'm hoping to get my life uh, back on track. So... I wanted to share with you guys what I have been doing to document um, my December. So if you've um, followed me before and watched my videos before, you know I have grown children. So my December and my Christmas is a little different um, than a lot of people that do memory keeping and stuff because I don't have little children around and, um, you know, things like that. So the way I document my December this year is I'm going to work in my junk planner. My life's been pretty hectic um, here these last few weeks and just haven't had a lot of time or energy to to sit down and just, you know, like document. And I'll be quite honest, um, the stuff that I do every day that I've been doing every day has not really been document worthy because it's stuff I'd rather kind of forget. So I um, am choosing to do some documenting in my junk planner. And I love my junk planner. And I'll link my other videos below to my junk planner. But it just seems that this is going to be the best place to put the few things that I do want to record and remember um, in uh, about this, this holiday season. So the first thing I want to do is um, my husband hung up our stockings last Saturday. And um, we it was kind of a, a fun little event. It was just me, my dog, and my husband, and <clears throat> the boys were gone. I think they were at work, and so we hung up uh, Christmas tree lights over the mantle, and then my husband hung up all the stockings for the kids, and we just kind of sat there with the Christmas light and uh, listened to some Christmas music and just kind of had a, a quiet little evening, and it was just, I don't know, it was just really... It was kind of special and kind of cool, and so um, that I wanted to document because I was not feeling like putting things up this year, and lo and behold, he went out to the garage and got the stuff and and put it up, and you know, it kind of made um, it, it kind of made everybody in the house put a little smile on. So it worked out really well, and I'm glad he did it. So I wanted to document that. I also wanted to. Um, just kind of add some things to my December because it's I haven't been doing much in it um, at all. So I had some stickers left over from some um, vintage stationery that I had, and I had some packaging from some sweet little um, happy mail that I've I've gotten in the last couple of weeks, and so I I wanted to add those things. So the um, paper that I'm using is just like some wrapping. It's a craft wrapping paper and it was just leftover packaging, but I want to use it to um, journal on because I want to write um, above the, like the stickers, those stocking stickers. I want to write, uh, he hung the stockings by the chimney with care. So my page is so busy because, you know, if, if you've seen my junk journal videos before, I mean my junk planner videos before, I just kind of add layers and layers and layers of stuff. And so when I start the month off, I might write down appointments. And then as the month goes through, I doodle or I add stickers or I add ephemera or tickets or tags from my daily life. And um, so now I'm kind of just putting things on top of stuff that's already, that I already had in my journal. And I need for it to stand out. So that's why I'm going to use that paper. And then using that paper also, you know, is just a nod to the sweet person that sent me that package. And, and I'm being able to use their paper in my, in my journal and um, create a memory that way. So over on this right-hand side, I've got a um, piece of a page from a Holly Hobby book. 
And um, I wanted to back that with just some tissue paper. And I think it was leftover tissue paper from last year. And then I wanted to um, use these these uh, Christmas seals. And they're Christmas seals from Boys Town. And the reason why I want to use them is because um, I had to have surgery uh, here the last week. And when I got home, my boys really, really took care of me. So I, I felt like those stickers were perfect because they were Boys Town stickers. And it just reminded me of how my boys took care of me and how my middle son, um, when I got home from surgery and sat down on the couch, the first thing he said was, Mom, do you want me to put in Emma Otter's uh, Jug Band Christmas? Because I just ordered that DVD, and so we've been watching it. And for a 23-year-old to say that to his mom and to sit there and watch it with her, that... Um, that was actually, that was priceless. That was awesome. So I wanted to document that. And while I don't have a picture of that, I don't have photos of that, I I can document it in other ways. I can document it by using um, colors and textures and images from, from that memory. Um, I also pulled the packaging from the DVD and of course, cut it apart. And I, my husband walked up and he saw the blank DVD case and he said, what happened to the packaging? And I said, why would you even ask that question? I said, that was half the reason why I, why I ordered it on DVD was so I could cut up the packaging and use it. So Emmett Otter is one of my absolute favorite Christmas movies. My brother and I, we watched it growing up and it is, I mean, we just, we know every word and so, so yeah, so um, I ordered it. I saw it on eBay and I ordered it <clears throat> and um, it arrived this week and I've already watched, watched it twice. And so just wanted to record that memory and put that in. Um, I had a lovely, lovely friend send me these flashcards, their Precious Moments flashcards. And so I wanted to use this card because it has the number 15 on it. And I wanted to record an estate sale that my husband and I went to yesterday. We haven't been estate sailing for a while, but we went to this one yesterday and I was instantly drawn to it because it was a retired teacher. And so I always love going to estate sales of people that are similar to me because, I don't know, I just always feel like, oh my gosh, this is going to be me in you know, 40 years. This is going to be my kids selling off all my stuff. But this sale, I don't know, there was just something about it. She, I could just tell by her stuff, she was an amazing teacher. I could tell she was a primary school, um, probably early childhood, probably kindergarten, first grade, um, puppets and toys and books and stickers. And I, I was just, I was in heaven. So anyway, um, I made some purchases and I got some fabric and some cards and some books and and a big bag of stickers and I just was I left that sale feeling so good because I felt like I, I just connected with this woman even though I, I didn't know her and then on the way home my husband told me that he overheard someone talking that she had passed away three days after they moved her into an assisted living um, place she had passed away three days afterwards and I just my heart sank. I just felt so sad. Um, but then I was also, I was also really honored that I was able to get a little bit of her life and, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully carry on some of her energy, um, in my things that I'm going to make and, and, uh, use her stuff and, and give it, um, another lease on life. So, it was, I don't know, it always, when I go to estate sales, I always feel melancholy because I, I'm i like, this is somebody's, this is somebody's stuff. This is somebody's life. This is somebody's energy. And so um, when I see people, you know, there and they've got their phones out and they're checking prices on eBay and stuff, I'm just like, oh, I mean, I get it. I know that's their business and I know that's what they're doing, but I'm just like, oh man, I just, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that stuff maybe I don't know. And and who knows? People buy stuff off of eBay and and then they turn it into cool things. So and I'm not to judge. You people do people do what they need to do, but it just always makes me melancholy to go to a sale, especially one of someone that 
is very similar to me. So I wanted to include some stickers that I got from her um, sale. And then she had this amazing fabric and it was all scrap fabric. I don't, I don't even think there's um, enough that I could sew, you know, anything really big with. It's all just scraps. And so I just took a little piece of the scraps and stapled that onto the side. And I just, I just wanted to document that special time that one, I got out of the house and I felt really good yesterday. And two, <clears throat> my husband and I had a great um, afternoon. And three, I got to just go and be part of this, uh, this lady's legacy. So that was kind of cool. Now with this next week coming up, it's going to be really busy. So I have three days of school this week, and then then we're off for Christmas break. So I need to leave some room in my planner. So that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Um, I added like a little sticker of people visiting a house, or I think it was these little animals visiting a house. I added that on the day that I know I'm going to visit my mom. Um, I put some tissue paper, like I said, over on that left-hand side so that I'll have some space for journaling for when we have Christmas with the kids. And then I, f I feel pretty good. I feel pretty caught up. I know it's not like a, a daily December journal where you write in every day. But for me, this is this is plenty. This is exactly what I need. And even though there aren't any photos, there's so much memory and, and feeling when I take a look at my junk planner. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you are doing um, wonderfully. I hope you are healthy and you are happy. And I hope you do something creative today. Hopefully I'll get a video coming up um, soon in the next week or so. And I hope you guys have a happy holidays. Bye.